Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are only two weeks into Team of the Season, and it already feels like it's losing hype. I'm sitting here struggling to compute how the second most popular promo of every single year in this game feels kind of chalked already. And I want to have a conversation about that today. I left yesterday's Twitch live stream really frustrated and just like this game right now is not fun to play. That was the thought running through my mind. I've been reading a lot of your comments, seeing a lot of your guys' feedback as well below these YouTube videos and feeling some of it myself. So I want to talk about it today. I don't want to just brush it under the rug and keep trucking along like nothing's going on. I want to have a little bit of a conversation. I'm not a big rant guy, you know, so this is be like my type of rant video more constructive than like me getting angry because I just don't feel like getting angry and getting mad about things does me any good. I don't perform well in those situations. So I want to have constructive conversations today, but not for the whole video. Of course, I want to look at what's coming today. Guaranteed Bundesliga team of the season pack, the content that we had yesterday, the market moving today. When I get frustrated about the game, I like to buy cards. I like to work the market. I like to invest. And that is what I plan on doing today as well. So we're going to talk about a lot of things. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Now let's talk about this, the situation and the conversation straight away with what is going on with Bundesliga Tots. I want to go straight into the combo. Like I said, I'm not a rant guy, but man, yesterday after the stream, I left the stream so frustrated. And I have three reasons, I think, why team of the season is feeling very chalked right now at the moment. First thing is, it's pretty obvious, right? Gameplay. And some of these things have been issues that have been going on for the entire year. Gameplay has just been really woeful this whole entire year. And since this game is all based around gameplay, well... You know, that's a big problem. And since that's not changing, it's continuing to be a very big problem. It feels like a chore to play this game. It honestly does, guys. It feels like maybe even more of a chore right now because of the extra rewards we feel like we have to push for and get in foot champs. Um because the tots rewards are out right people play the same way over and over that's the biggest problem right you can't be as creative in this gameplay because all it is is openings down the side you're crossing the ball back and forth to get an opening to run in behind and cut the ball back across the box and hope that you can score a goal if the ai defending isn't all parked in the box right and that just happens every single game they took away the finesse shots or they nerfed them they still work i try to score a lot of those they took away the trivellas from outside of the box those now only work inside of the box and it's just making this gameplay super super frustrating to do my best inception impression it's the way the game is formatted right it's a thing like I, you can't create through the middle like you used to in other games it's just been a frustrating part about this whole entire year and it's basically um compounded right now in this certain state of the game of course we have the tots rewards as well right which is making me and a lot of us put extra pressure on ourselves play extra sweaty to try to get extra wins and weekend link for the quote-unquote better rewards and that just makes us more frustrated and all of that too but when you see people getting rank two and rank one and their three red picks are sancho ta and cobell as their best picks like come on man that is just not Right, so that is very frustrating. Like, the gameplay is still the root of all of this problem, I truly believe, especially this year in this game. But some more things that are team of the season specific that are making me frustrated this year is the store packs. Now, I can't go to the store because I have a random card I'm unassigned, which we'll talk about here in a second. Um, but it's crazy how hard it is to pack a decent team of the season, especially this week with Bundesliga Tots. Last week during Prem, it was different, right? I mean, a lot of you guys were packing Tots Foden, Tots Sun, Tots Palmer. Like, those cards were a lot cheaper than we expected. We talked about that a lot. The packed weights seemed pretty decent, and it felt like you had a chance of packing those cards. This week of Bundesliga Tots, it does not feel that way at all. And throughout even Prem Tots and Bundesliga Tots, it's like the best chance of you packing one of these high-ticket, big-tier players is going to the store and opening one of those big time crazy insane store packs that's either $50 and a waste of money or 750,000 coins which technically hurts you I guess you could say more in game but in reality coins are a lot cheaper than 50 bucks for that 725,000 coins now I don't endorse coin buying or selling or anything like that I'm just saying I know the prices because I've seen them posted on Twitter and it's a lot less than 50 bucks. That's all I'm saying. So I've opened some of those packs because I know that's the best chance that I have of packing some of these cards like a Harry Kane who is somehow still freaking 4 million coins. I don't get it. But it's sickening that we are directed to the store because that is our best chance of packing those cards 
Um, and it, that's kind of the level we have to go to, right? There should be a way where you can grind through the menus and get close to packing those certain things. And I feel like the upgrade packs that we have this week, the 86 double is just shocking. It shouldn't be as bad as it is. It's a double walkout, but the weight is horrific on it. The 83.7 Bundesliga, that's not very good as well. It's just frustrating that is those paid store pack opportunities that feel like they are the best way and the kind of the only way is how it is honestly perceived by us. Where else do you see people packing these crazy cards? The lucky one-off chance and weekly rewards? The lucky one-off player pick or an 86 times two? It's in the store packs where you see the canes being packed or the standways or the pops. And that's just where, I mean, I get it. EA is a business. They're trying to make money, but it's just, it's frustrating that that is the only way it seems to pack those cards. And the third thing, the thing that really frustrated me yesterday was the servers, man. We didn't really have many problems with the servers during Prem Tots, but my goodness, yesterday, the servers were absolutely dreadful, all right? EA tweeted about it. They said, we're investigating reports of some players experiencing ultimate team connectivity issues. Yeah, basically for an entire hour after content yesterday, nobody could do diddly squat on the game because we couldn't load anything. We couldn't do SBCs. We couldn't load the store. We could barely even log into the game. But what the actual frick are these servers, bro? Not even to mention, my foot champs record is in shambles right now because of one reason and one reason only. DCs. DCs that they said were fixed, but I'm still getting DCs literally just hours ago playing foot champs on Tuesday night headed into Wednesday when it's supposedly fixed. I had four DCs this weekend and I'm 9 and 10. I'm only getting one red pick and it better be Harry Kane. Um, but like, why are the menus, why are the servers having problems on a random Tuesday? There's a lot of, um, you know, people thinking and trying to come up with reasons as to why that might've been happening. Like it, it was going on for like an hour plus on a Tuesday. Sometimes you see that on like a Friday of team of the year or like prem tots, the servers were slow for a little bit, but on a Tuesday of Bundesliga, like, man, was it really that EA let people on the game? Cause the game was free yesterday for PS plus, And that's what muddied the servers. And they didn't prepare ahead of time for what they knew was going to happen. Like, you know, you know, that sort of thing. Frustrating, right? Um, yeah. Also, how do you release the game for free? Like I just mentioned, this is something I'm reading off my notes. How do you release the game for free for everyone on PlayStation and then let the servers go down? It's all those things that are combining right now in this game. It just makes it feel like playing this game is a chore. Not all the time, but recently it is for sure feeling that way for me. And this is team of the season. It shouldn't feel like that. So that's where my frustrations are stemming from. And it really started over the weekend. It kind of built up the last couple of days. And man, yesterday on stream with the servers and everything, like, I don't know if I showed it, if you guys are watching the stream or not, but man, I was just freaking frustrated, bro. I was just not happy with the cards that I was packing. I was attempting to pull stuff. I couldn't get anything. And it was just very, very frustrating. But at the same time, I got to give credit where credit is due too. And there is really good parts of this game right now, like the exchange grind, the menu grind. There is more content in this game than we have like ever had before during the team of the season. You have never been able to craft the menus like you are right now. But I will say this, the craftability with this 80 plus pick, the exchanges, it's not like this is new. Like basically the only thing that's new are these premium upgrades. We had an 80 or an 81 plus player pick the team of the week pick and the exchanges every single week now for like three or four months. So it's great. But even that has just lost its kind of its aura, if you will, right? It's a popular term going around in the community right now. It's lost its aura just because it's not fresh because it's been the same thing over and over and over. It's that control C control V like we've had the 80 and 81 plus picks every single Monday. I've talked about it in videos for months, right? It's the same thing every single week. So that's great. But also it's kind of like, Where's the, the spice in that, you know? So I'm still enjoying parts of this game, guys. Yes, it is fun to play for the rewards. It just doesn't feel rewarding when you don't get something good. And when it all hinges around that, you're going to be disappointed more times than not. I'm still enjoying making the videos for you guys. I'm still enjoying streaming and chatting it up with you guys. But I wanted to talk about this stuff today because, you know, man, I left the stream and I just sat here for like 15 minutes yesterday and I was just like, this really sucks at the moment with the things that went on yesterday and the servers and all the things we mentioned. I was just like, man, why is this team of the season and why is this game leaving me feeling this way? And, and I wanted to address it because it has been, I've read a lot of you com your comments, guys. I know a lot of you are being frustrated at this whole game as well. This year's FIFA Ultimate Team game, FC24, is definitely not going to go down as a top game. It's had crazy content, but the gameplay, the heart and soul of this game 
has been just really not good. And there's been many other things too, like the market has been a big problem. We'll talk about this towards the end of the year, kind of gather up all our feedback and talk about it and conversate around FC24 for sure. But I like, I feel like we do have one of these kind of like discussion, not quite a rant video because yeah, I'm freaking frustrated, but also I'm just not a guy that gets mad a lot. And uh, especially like when I get mad, I, I don't try to like talk about things when I'm mad, right? I try to cool down and, you know, chill out a little bit before having conversations. But I feel like we needed to have this because hopefully team of the season can progress from here in some way, shape, or form. And hopefully this is just like an off week. And hopefully EAC, the lack of interaction with some of the game, and maybe they'll turn things up and spice it up. So that's kind of my thoughts. I do want to hear yours down in the comments. I didn't mean to ramble for super long, but I wanted to spend a good amount of time talking about that because it's just, just something on my mind. I know you, a lot of you guys are having frustrations as well. Feel free to voice them in the comments. I am here, right? I'll be looking in the comments. And I appreciate your guys' support and uh, your comments underneath there and, and your guys' feedback, right? That's stuff that I like to talk about and, and uh, address with you guys. So let's move on and turn the page a little bit and talk about yesterday's content, some of the things that did make us frustrated, some of the things that were good, though, and look ahead to today because today is a day where we'll be able to chase Team of the Season Bundesliga cards, albeit the pack weight's probably not going to be great, especially because of what we saw last week with that guaranteed tots. But I want to talk about it. Let's go back to yesterday first, Tuesday. Two SBCs. Really a quiet day as well. Monday, Tuesday, both really quiet. We had the weekly TOTS upgrade, which was expected. Now, what wasn't expected from this is that it was only going to be one squad. An 86 squad with a team of the season. There was no 83 rated squad attached to this. They made it cheaper. I'm not going to complain about that. It's still 46,000 coins. It is an easy craft, especially if you have an, a team of the season card that's like 91 rated. Boom, you're throwing in 84s and 5s into the rest of that squad, and you're getting it done. Um, really not a whole lot to say there. That's one that's worth doing, even though it seems like the pack weight is terrible. It's worth doing, at least for the try every single week, because you never know. The other SBC we had yesterday was leaked right before content, Lucio. And man, I got to say... This is tempting me as an SBC. I remember when Rio came out and I was like, man, you know what? I have not used Rio in a long time. This card looks insane. I've heard amazing things about him. And I held off on doing it. And I'm, I'm glad that I did because this SBC is really tempting to me. Lucio is just kind of different in game. Now, I haven't personally used him this year, but I've heard a lot about him. Anticipate and block plus. He's got good play styles. Um, he doesn't have intercept. Um, or Jockey, but he's got Ariel and he has Lucio Aura, as I hear. Um, just his body type and game, he's always very good. He's got the good Bundesliga links as well, if you're trying to link together some of the current TOTS cards. And only 10 squads coming in at 1.1 mil. It's kind of like, I give it a 7.5 or an 8 out of 10, because that's the type of player that people want to just park in their defense and just use for like a couple of months. And if that's you, I think this SBC is a fantastic value for the craft, again, for the menus and all the things right now. I could probably, with all the high-rated fodder in my club, knock out half this SBC with snap of fingers, right? Like, I could get it done so quickly um, because of how much fodder I've got through not doing player SBCs this week. I think that one's great. I honestly do. Um, now, I don't know if I'm going to do it yet. I'm talking myself into it as I think about it, but I'm still not sure if I'm going to commit because um, we do have League One team of the season coming up. But he did impact center back prices. Like, Upamakano was between 770 and 800, and now he's down in the lower 700s. I actually just bought one of him at 700,000 coins flat. Other center backs on this game are down because of that, Lucio. Not a crazy amount, but a little bit. CBs have been dropping some. Now, one extra piece of content yesterday that actually made things a little bit better, but it's also like, hmm, why did EA drop this? Is this, is the, is this EA saying... Guys, we're so sorry for the problems over the weekend. We're going to give you a bonus 3,000 XP objective. Did you guys notice this? Uh, it literally dropped yesterday after content a couple hours afterward. It was bonus objective. Play one match in Ultimate Team. get 3,000 XP. We're sorry for the servers being absolutely shocking this weekend and disconnecting people in champs. So we're going to give you 3K XP. Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know what the reasoning behind that is, but that was nice. A lot of people are ahead of me in the season, and a lot of people got to 
Colby Mainu, 92 rated at level 20. 4-5 high high, so I think you're going to see him a lot in gameplay today. Watch your Manchester United links. I do believe there were some cards that were going up for that. And then also, yesterday was the day of the free PlayStation Plus pack. Uh, really quick, if you don't know where this is, you can go down here, like just literally go down from FC24 and then go over to the right. And like right here, there should be a thing that pops up. Uh, because it did for me or you can go into the playstation plus store into fc24 and then an add-ons to claim that pack that's how you can get that a couple of other things we do have to mention is what a game yesterday mbappe hit the post psg hit the post so many times we lost count the best defender in the game yesterday was hummels but the post was probably second best hummels himself is getting a plus one playstyle. wait he only has one playstyle plus Wait, I didn't even realize that. Oh, no, that's kind of dead. He's only going to have two playstyles when they give him his upgrade. Oh, I kind of forgot, man. I thought he had two. Dang, that's a bit of a rip. So, Sule, the upgrade that he's getting is going to be another playstyle plus. It better be anticipate plus. They better go all out since he's only have going to have two. Uh, but that is the upgrade as now Dortmund is going to the final. Today, of course, is Kimmich versus Cruz. Now, if Real Madrid go ahead and do the business... Cruz would be three playstyle pluses when they do the upgrade because, of course, he already has two anticipate and long ball pass plus. So no stat upgrades for Sule or the winner of today's game, but you do get the playstyle plus addition there. And uh, we did have live tots upgrades as well. I don't know if you guys noticed this. Hey, EA continuing with the randomness, guys. These cards were updated last week on a Wednesday. They were upgraded yesterday, Tuesday. Sobos Light actually looks kind of cracked. This is 92. I won't lie. Some of them have risen up in price a good bit. Like Zaha was 120. And now he's 160K. Look at this graph. 127. Boom. Straight up to 140. And he's going even higher right now. Again, that's a lower tier striker that a lot of people might be wanting to buy as they're getting the game for the first time. Hinkapi is going up for that exact same reason. Some cards are down, though. That's something to kind of mention. Uh, but those are some big upgrades that were released yesterday. So if you noticed that, that's a GG. And the last thing I want to say is, anybody else getting this? We had Sandro compensation or compensation a long time ago. And all of a sudden, just a couple of hours ago, Alex Sandro is all of a sudden showing up in my unassigned once again. Um, and it sounds like I tweeted this out. A lot of people are having the same issue. Sandro, boom. Sandro and duplicates. Is this EA's compensation for the Caputo? If it was, weren't they supposed to give us Caputo? I'm really confused as to why I have this Alexandro card. But I guess it's a free 89 rated exchange, which is 51 players. So we move. I guess we'll take that. I think that's everything from yesterday. Let's look forward into today, guys. Wednesday. Really the biggest thing from today. And I'm excited for it. But on the other hand, we can see right through the situation and we know how it's going to go. The Bundesliga Tots guaranteed. Your best chance, right? Best chance to get Harry Kane today for me. Am I excited to pack Harry Kane? No, because I know that like only 10 people in the entire world today are going to pack Harry Kane from this guaranteed Bundesliga Tots pack that's going to come out. What you're really going to be seeing today is Taco Bell packs, guys. You're going to see Ta and Cobell. Very, very common. I can also tell you who's going to be common. Anton, Adiemi, Malin, Tapsoba, probably Girassi. And Sancho, those are going to be the popular cards today. So the question is, what will this SBC cost? What will we be submitting so that we can get a duplicate um, fodder Bundesliga Tots card with the crazy once in a lifetime chance of maybe hitting something good, which we're all still going to do it anyway, because you never know, right? That's kind of how this game goes, at least, or these packs do. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be hopefully cheaper than the Prem Tots upgrade. This last week was 86 and an 88 with a Tots. But then again, you do have some players in this team that are expensive, but we don't have a Holland. We don't have a VVD like last week. So maybe it's only going to be like an 85 and an 87. Maybe it's an 88 and an 84. I don't know. We'll have to see. But hopefully it's a little bit cheaper. Watch Fodder. We shouted Fodder in yesterday's video. I know some of you guys were talking about it in the stream. You invested. W. All right. 84s are up. They were 1-3. Now they're 1-5, one, 1-6. One, 85s are approaching 5k plus i would lazy list this stuff so that it is expiring around the content drop 84s hopefully um, approaching 1.9 to 2k 85s hopefully like five and a half like there could be some nice bounces on fodder even 88s like last night when i looked at 88s i was surprised they were 9k again i think these would be cards that you could probably put some coins into as well if you wanted to try to go for a quick fodder flip how did they do last week Last week on Wednesday, they went from 10K at content, boom, 13. So, yeah, I mean, this seems like a pretty 
much a simple one day team of the season investment. These guaranteed tots packs are ones that people want to do every single week. So if I were you, I would maybe look at 87s and 88s. 88s, probably the best. We have to have an 88 rated squad though for those to go up for sure. And then maybe you watch some of your fodder team of the seasons. They might go up like a thousand coins or two. Davies is 18K. Davis, sorry, Vertonghen and Krum Beagle are all 18, 19K. So yeah, that will be something uh, to watch there, but they may not move that much. That is the SBC that is coming today. Now, of course, it's a Wednesday. So what are we looking at? And you, you heard me say I've already invested in some cards. This is, this is because you know what it is on a Wednesday as well. Everybody thinks they're going to pack something good. I think people realize now that they know it's not really going to happen. They want Grimaldo. They want Harry Kane. They want Florian Verts, And they open the pack. They don't get who they want. So what do they have to do? Go back out to the market and buy that card. Well, I have in invested for just that exact same scenario that happened last week with the Prem. Last week, the Prem card started rising. Remember that Declan Rice said about last week? The next day, he was up like 50, 60K. We are watching that exact same thing today for some of the most hype Bundesliga team of the seasons. Now, I will say, this week with a little bit less hype, does that mean these cards will not rise? It does make me a little bit skeptical. I'll be honest. I'm a little skeptical on some of these cards, but also these cards seem more rare since they've been more difficult to pack. Could that mean maybe the people that want them? Um, and of course, we know, like we talked about earlier in the weekend, there are, there are a lot of coins out here on this market. People have the facilities to be paying for these cards. Will we see as my game glitches? Another frustrating thing about the game this year, the menus just fail all the time. Will we see these cards rise today? I think we will. And that's why I'm investing in some of them. Again, I'm focusing on the cards that people will want, but are most likely not going to pack, right? I picked up some Schlauterbecks on bid. I'm just thinking when I look at this card, I don't know if I've ever seen a red Schlauterbeck. He seems so rare from packs and from red picks. This is the type of card that a lot of people, especially after Dortmund smoking PSG yesterday, or <laughs> more so defending very well um, and going through and all the hype being around Dortmund, I just feel like this is a card that could go up, even though we had Lucio. So I bought a couple of him. I've been watching Marco Royce. He's been one of my favorite cards to trade this whole week. I just, I don't know. I, he could be 680 today. He could be 690. He goes up from 600 lows to 700 almost every single day. I just feel like today might be different. But I, I, know, I know a lot of people are investing because I was watching this card's price and he gets bought like instantly under 630. So that scares me a little bit. But I do think some of these Bundesliga cards will turn it around today. And don't, don't sleep on some of the cheap ones either. Maybe Jaka, maybe Boniface, Javi Simons. Like some of those cards are not going to get packed very much today, but people will want them for their team. So I could, I could see some of those rising up in price today as well. So like I said, investing and trading on this game is one of the things that makes me enjoy the game the most. So that's why I picked up those Schlotterbecks. That's why I picked up a Grimaldo. Um, if I see another Grimaldo at 1-3 flat, I will buy it. But I think he's rebounding back. Um, even the women's cards as well. You can keep an eye on some of these, like the fluctuations are there people are going to want to try stanway she might just keep going up um she was down at like 600k flat what is she 650 okay so she's back up a little bit these cards fluctuate like crazy um and there are a lot of people that want to try them so that's why i have a little bit of faith some of them could go up today if you were to buy somebody like harry kane here's what i'd tell you go buy a harry kane go try him out i want to buy this card and, and try him out but um I don't want to hold on to this guy, man. I just think that he is still overpriced. I'm just being honest. I think he's overpriced. And I think that with League One Tots coming this weekend, I don't want to have any of these Bundesliga cards because, you know, I don't think they're going to do the same thing that Premier League cards did and bounce up unless League One is really trash and not good, which I don't think it's going to be. I think it's going to be halfway decent and uh, maybe even more packable, which I was hoping that Bundesliga would be too, but it wasn't. I really think that some of these cards could drop come Saturday, even Friday night. So I'm not going to invest and hold on. This is more of like an investment for these Bundesliga cards, um, like this Grimaldo that I bought, the UPA, uh, the Schlotterbecks. This is more like a one to two day investment. I'm talking maybe Thursday night when everybody's going and playing champs, qualities, trying out these Bundes cards. I think then would be a good time to sell these. And that was kind of the good sell time for the Prem cards as well, like Thursday night into Friday evening when those bounced back. I think Maybe the same sort of thing, but maybe a little bit earlier of a sell time for Bundesliga. We will just have to see. Today, we'll get a good gauge of how much people are hyped for these cards. It is a rivals grind day today. Again, 
I want to play Rivals today. It's the extra rewards, even though the gameplay is shocking. We're trying to push through it because I'm one win away from Division 2. haven't played any Rivals, but I would like to at least try to get that player pick just to see what could happen, right? The what if, the you never know type of situation. So that's kind of the mix that we have with this game right now. The gameplay being shocking and not enjoyable, but at the same time, we're attempting uh, what could be crazy for rewards so that's really what i think today is the guaranteed bonus league of tots pack it's a rivals grind day for a lot of people and probably some more leaks from league one we're going to end off the video with this two more leaked players for league one team of the season vitinha again guys these are predicted stats these are not guaranteed in any way shape or form vitinha with incisive first touch and intercept would be decent maybe we take that first touch out of there and throw i don't know maybe like finesse or something or technical for the boys hope his stats are a little bit higher too psg team in the season there for him and then of course it was leaked as well no surprise here that mbappe is going to be in if they give mbappe first touch that would be an l he better have finesse and uh technical at the same time but i you know he needs a rapid he needs a quick step or both of those imagine rapid quick step and finesse or technical that would be a pretty crazy mbappe card um gonna be higher probably rated than the team of the season had a couple people in the stream yesterday asking about team of the year mbappe this is going to be extinct at 15 mil and just like the ronaldo card he's going to be extinct the team of the year version might actually go up a little bit before dropping once this one finally hits the market we'll see but i have to imagine it's going to be extinct at 15 if holland is 11 mil this 98 mbappe is going to be extinct in my opinion on the market so watch for more leaks today though that's the practical advice i can give a lot of you guys is watch for more leaks today and best of luck when you're grinding the menus um you know i opened the 86 doubles yesterday the toss counter is up to 80 so we packed a few but man the pack weight this week is just it's it's not good man and again i think that's part of the reason why the menu grind in this game in itself at the moment is just a lot more frustrating for people and the way that it's set up with the pack weight and everything with the gameplay added in it's just a frustrating week on this game. Hopefully the servers can fix up. Hopefully the pack ways it gets better. I'm not thinking it's going to get better this week. I hope it gets better for League One. I want something to get excited about again. Truly, truly excited about again, man. And I think this week there's not been a crazy amount. Even if you're a Bundesliga fan, yeah, the cards are great. But for the game as a whole, has there been a ton to get excited about? I don't know if there is. But hopefully that changes for League One in the next couple of days again guys i appreciate all your comments let me know down below what you agree with what you don't agree with what i said and uh yeah i love hearing your feedback but if you did enjoy today's upload drop a thumbs up on it and subscribe if you're new i will see you guys in the twitch stream today peace out <laughs>